this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. This is our 9 p.m. Bangkok time update, guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a great, humongous day uh, in uh, America. You guys are just starting your day. Hopefully, you got your cup of joe in you, and hopefully, you guys are just doing a fantastic, having a fantastic time. My friends in America and my friends in Asia, much love, much respect. Thank you guys for being here as usual, as always. You guys show up every time, and I do really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely the best. Woo! We got an action-packed uh, video. We're going to talk about, you know, some amazing. We're seeing some amazing uh, signals, some amazing, um, you know, stuff on the charts for Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin. We we're going to talk about uh, the infrastructure bill again. We're going to talk about the tax. What that's going to mean to you? Could this be a black swan? Of, uh, could this be a black swan event? I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. And uh, could it be a nothing burger? We don't know. We have to jump into it. And you know, Bitcoin has hit. Uh, you know one of its highest levels since May guys, so this is really bullish It's really fantastic and it looks like we're gonna go have a green green weekend So let's jump in the news without delay remember none of this is financial advice This is just an OG in the house giving you my opinion this is for educational purposes only and watch out for nasty scammers in the contents guys Let's get into it. Let's get excited. Whoo. I'm all fired up. This is a definitely a doge pump it up weekend guys so we're going to be doing Doge Pump It Up week, Doge Pump It Up weekend all weekend. So let's get fired up. Let's pump up the Doge. Let's get Doge to 21 cents, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Let's jump in. Let's go. 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 Woo! All right, guys. So, so some of the first pieces of news, as you guys know, that uh, cryptocurrency price, Bitcoin rises for a second day. Ethereum is up. Uh, Dogecoin is up. Stellar, XRP, everything's up, 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 up. So it looks like uh, you know we're moving. Uh, 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 moving to have a green weekend you know it's really weird just recently that uh, you know Monday to Friday uh, things are supposed to pump but they tend to just dump uh, but the weekends are uh, weekends seem to be like the the, the key the key uh, upticks for the uh, for the crypto market so it's really interesting that we kind of had this reversal so I'm thinking we're gonna have a huge uh, green weekend guys and I'm pretty bullish I'm pretty excited we're gonna jump into the uh, the market soon but you know let's jump into it I mean, if you guys think that uh, this is going to be a green weekend, send me a comment. I don't forget to smash the like, subscribe as always. And the other thing that's happening right now is we're seeing that, uh, you know, the uh, you know Biden is uh, basically he's saying that they're they've kind of made a decision. It's not official yet that uh, they're going to endorse the proof of work infrastructure bill. And this is the second proposal that came out from the. Uh, uh, I believe it came from the Dems that uh, originally uh, wrote this, uh, you know, dumpster dumpster bill, and it looks like they're going to go with that. But uh, you know, in hindsight, the White, the, you know, as I said, the White House is formally uh, supporting the the Warner Portman uh, crypto amendment, and uh, and they're definitely against the Toomey Wooden uh, Loomis plan, and uh, you know, the, at least the Toomey Wooden plan, it took into account for developers and all of this stuff and, and node validators uh, but you know if the White House is endorsing proof of work over the other consensus mechanisms to be enshrined in this law it's going to be a disaster it only excludes uh, proof of uh, work from the tax uh, and then uh, has nothing it doesn't do anything for the software developers so this is bad news guys this is really just dumb and it just seems that we have a whole bunch of we, ha we have a whole bunch of uh, knuckleheads uh, in in the White House who are pushing forward a bill that they know nothing about so you know it's really disappointing that this is happening so you know the crypto space weighs in on the proposal amendments to the US uh, infrastructure deal so if the if the watered down amendment uh, comes in uh, you know it's not gonna be good so the digital right advocacy group uh, fight for the future said to, uh, today would not support the amendment crafted by Sanders Mark uh, Warner and Rob Portman uh, to address the issue of clarifying the language using uh, concerning crypto bipartisan infrastructure bill. So, you know, the original provision that the Portman put out there is just, it's just complete garbage. What is going to do? It's going to kill innovation. Uh, blockchain developers, software developers that are in the crypto space, they're going to be lo they're going to be leaving America. Absolutely, they're going to leave. And it's just going to kill innovation. This is really dangerous, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy that this is happening right now. I can't believe it. So on Wednesday, Senator Rob Wine and uh, Cynthia Loomis and Pat Toomey put forth an amendment to the infrastructure bill. Uh, it's currently under review uh, in the Senate, but the proposal, proposal received support from a number of lawmakers and figures in the crypto space, including seven, Senator Rob Portman, a key Republican involved in the bill with 114 signatures from the crypto and blockchain space, including Twitter Jack Dorsey. So. You guys maybe have seen yesterday that uh, Dorsey and Elon uh, had some uh, tweets back and forth, and you know Jack Dorsey said 
wow and then uh, Elon said DM Twitter so they weren't talking about Dogecoin some youtubers are trying to hype it up that you know Elon and Dorsey are, are coming out with some cryptic messages about Dogecoin that's a bunch of that's a bunch of baloney basically Dorsey was saying wow because Elon and Jack Dorsey were talking about this bill and uh, the Twitter uh, you know Twitter uh, Jack Dorsey was endorsing the new the you know the second the first revision and um, that's what that's what that whole tweet was about had not absolutely nothing to do with Dogecoin so guys stop stop spreading stop spreading uh, misinformation around uh, okay you know so this is really not good that the the original proposal that uh, you know that Portman and Warner suggested that uh, you know that Ron, that Senator Ron Wyden and stuff proposed, and Pat Toomey put forth. They're not, they're not going to adopt that. I don't know what, I don't know what Biden's thinking. I don't know what's going on in the White House. Uh, you know, personally, I can't wait till this administration is out of there and we get the new one in, because this is bad for crypto. So, you know, you know, here's my prediction. Once this bill gets passed and it's written into law, this is what's going to happen to the crypto market. We're going to have, a, we're going to have kind of like a black swan event where we're going to see a huge huge dump incoming when this absolute when this passes so guys prepare for that but this huge dump you know it'll it'll be like a probably like a, a week of of uh, negative territory it'll be it'll be sparked off with a huge dump when it's first assigned and then it'll continue going down and then uh, and this will last for probably anywhere from two to three weeks and then once uh, everybody has forgotten about the narrative, we'll move, everything will go back to normal and we'll have this big correction upside. So I think there's definitely going to be uh, some dumpage going on in the crypto space when this happens. But right now, crypto is looking pretty, pretty good. So l before we jump into the other news, uh, let's, uh, let's just fi finalize the news and then we'll go into the TA, guys. So Venezuela to launch CBC in October and cut six zeros from its currency. So this is really good news, guys. That uh, Venezuela is going to have a CBDC, so it's kind of interesting that uh, you know we got China uh, has got CBDC, Venezuela is going to roll the, roll theirs out really fast, and America, I don't know what's going on with America. Nothing happening uh, with the CBDC there. So let's jump into the let's jump into the TA into the chart. You watch, you watch this. So right now, of recording, we can see that uh, Bitcoin is above forty three thousand, and this is really bullish news because we haven't seen Bitcoin above forty three thousand until. Uh, uh, the last time we saw that was uh, in June, so it looks like Bitcoin's coming back, uh, and that's really good. So I'm pretty excited about that. So you guys should hold up, and you got you know, and and what I really think is going on here is if we look at the Wyckoff pattern, you can see that the Bitcoin is playing out exactly in line with the Wyckoff pattern. We went down here, we went down, you know, we call for going down here, we went up, we call for going up, we went down. And then now we're definitely following this white cuff pattern. Sure, there was a bit of a deviation between here and here, but uh, essentially the structure is pretty much the same as a white cuff pattern. So I'm pretty bullish on that. You know, like I said, we're going to definitely be seeing a fifty thousand uh, dollar Bitcoin by the end of August, uh, with the exception is once this bill gets passed, it could be a black swan event that could take stuff down. Uh, you know that we could see. I, I would predict we could see up to uh, 15 to 20 percent uh, downtrend downtrend when that bill gets signed across all the crypto space. Particularly Bitcoin, Bitcoin and, and Ethereum uh, might be get uh, hit the hardest. And if that happens, all the other coins are going to come down with it. So just be prepared for that, guys. Put that in. Uh, but you know the, the best way to overcome a black swan event is just you know dollar cost average, buy the dips. And don't sell and wait for uh, wait for life-changing wealth because you know Bitcoin will be at 100k in the winter, Ethereum will be uh, close to $10,000 in the winter, uh, Dogecoin will absolutely be a dollar. You guys can take that to the bank. All right, so let's take a look at Ethereum right now. Uh, Ethereum is also looking pretty good right now. Ethereum is uh, trading at uh, 2,900. I think this weekend, like I said in my previous videos, I think that we're going to break 3,000 by uh, by Monday or Tuesday. So that's really good. You know, we had this double bottom I've been talking about, which is a you know a bullish reversal, and we're seeing it playing out. And you're seeing that the the overall structure of Ethereum and the overall structure of uh, Bitcoin is different now. So this just goes to show that there's there's a more and more uncoupling happening so this is really really good news 
we can also see right now that the total amount of Ethereum that's been burned since we had this EIP 1559 is uh, 7,420 Ethereum. And you know, the daily amount of Ethereum produced is 1,800. So this is pretty good that, you know, this just goes to show that uh, Ethereum is becoming more and more deflationary as time goes. So I'm pretty bullish on that. So you guys should be all fired up. I'm fired up, guys. So let's jump into my Doji Doge. You know, and we can see with Doge right now, I mean, you know, this is, I haven't seen this before. This is really amazing, guys. So if we look at, this is on the one day time frame. We can see that here we've, uh, we're, we're still above our purple rain line, purple rain line. And uh, we're above our 20 day moving average. And you can see that my uh, yellow trend line here, we have just broken out of this yellow trend line. Now we have, we have a lot of resistance around about 2300. Uh, right now Doge is tra trading at, uh, uh, 0.206 and uh, you know I we went as high as 21 cents here on the on the one day yesterday so I think we're gonna definitely be blasting past 21 cents you can see that we have this uh, descending triangle we have broken past this descending triangle so I really believe that we're gonna see us uh, definitely let me definitely going from here breaking out we're gonna pass a 50-day moving average and we could see ourselves definitely you know at, uh, at, at 30 cents definitely by the end of the month so I think we'll we'll do something like that and if you look at the overall structure of um, of, uh, of Dogecoin you see here we had we had a low here we had a we had a low here and we we went up corrected down we went up corrected down all right and you know you see that here we were we're having higher lows so we, we had a low here up retrenched retraced all the way down then here we had pretty much this was a double bottom and then we're going up we formed a higher low here we formed a higher low here so this is pretty indicative that we're going to have a definitely have a breakout really soon so like i said you know we had a double bottom pattern here and here and then we had an impulse upside we had a slight correction all the way down we had made a higher low and now we are breaking out and I definitely believe that 30 cents is coming in for August. Where do I see the Doge by the end of the year? Definitely a dollar guys, definitely, definitely a dollar. Things, things are looking pretty bullish for Dogecoin right now over the weekend and I'm pretty pretty pumped guys and if we look at that on the one day time frame, uh, the four hour time frame as well here, you can see that the structure is looking very, very bullish here. You know, once again, you know, we, we had this double bottom here let me get my drawing tool on. Had this double bottom here on the four hour. Here, we went up, we went up. There you get it out of here. We went up here, corrected down, gone up. It's like a reverse W pattern. We went all the way down. Re we slightly retested 19.3, came all the way up. We've, we, you know, we broke past my resistance level here. And now it looks like we're going we're going up in this direction, and once again we're going to head up to 30 cents. So that's probably going to be the patent on the uh, definitely the patent on the uh, the uh, the four-hour chart. So also too, if you look here, this is this is this is the Bitcoin uh, supply and exchanges, and you can see right here that the amount of the amount of uh, the amount of uh, supply on exchanges right now is hit an all-time all-time low. And we haven't seen this kind of this kind of behavior since uh, October last year. And when we saw this behavior in October last year, this was this was this was actually around here, and we saw the similar kind of low here. And this really signaled the big leg up that Bitcoin took all the way to 64,000. So this is pretty indicative that. Uh, the bull run is not over. The bull run is still here. And we're definitely going to be breaking out to the upside, guys. So you guys should be really pumped and really bullish about that. So let's jump into the market marks right now. Let's jump into the market marks. And let's do it, guys. So right now, you can see that uh, overall, where the market cap is, is just firing away. We're at 1.744 trillion. So this is really good. Our volumes are also not, not, too, not too shabby for the weekend, guys. Right now, Bitcoin is trading at $42,832. So that's pretty good. You can see we're up almost 5% uh, in the last 24 hours. Over the month, we're up 26%. Uh, so that's pretty pretty good. Uh, if we look at uh, Ethereum, we're at uh, 28, 
2882 I definitely think we're gonna be breaking past 3,000 this this weekend guys uh, so Monday we should see 3,000 coming in so I'm really pumped I'm really psyched you guys should just be going woohoo so if you're holding a uh, theorem right now congratulations you're in the money you're making the money so you know uh, year to date look at uh, Ethereum. it's up uh, Bitcoin is up over 260 percent but Ethereum is definitely outperforming Bitcoin and this is something to understand big Ethereum always outperforms Bitcoin it just does so that's why you know I had a comment on Twitter one guy was saying I got 2k what should I do with that and I said basically this is not financial advice I said what I would do is I would put 80% of that 2k in uh, in Ethereum and the, the balance of 20% put in uh, BTC that's what I would do uh, you know right now we will be able to take a look at our portfolio but you know we're heavily into uh, uh, Ethereum right now because Ethereum is often outperforming the markets so if you look at BNB right now BNB is up 1.27% and that's at $342. So, uh, BNB is, is trying to is trying to come back, you know. But you can see that uh, you know BNB for the whole year is up 1,400%. So, not too shabby. Uh, ADA is at $1.40. That's up 1.19%. Uh, and for the year, it's up over 871%. So, if you look at my Doge right now, we can see that Doge is up 2%. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're over 20 cents. So that's where we want to be. And I don't think you're going to be able to see Doge anytime soon below 19 cents. You're never going to see that again. So I think uh, this is the last opportunity to buy a Doge while it's still cheap. I definitely believe, as I've said in the chart here, we're definitely, we're definitely going to be seeing 30 cents coming in in August. That's an absolute guaranteed, guys. That's definitely going to be happening. You know it. I know it. So... You guys just have to buckle up and wait for that. But look at Doge, you know, in uh, in one year, it's up 5,609%. Uh, so you guys need to understand that when something pumps up that hard, that fast, in a very short period of time, you know, it, 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 it often has corrections. And if you look at the behavior of Doge, Doge will often go sideways for a very long period of time sideways a lot of sideways action it looks really negative and then it then it will have an explosive upside and we're seeing the same kind of behavior it goes down it goes sideways and then it explodes up so that sense it tends to be the pattern with doge that it it's very cyclical in its nature and it's not it's not like a it's not like a slow uptrend uptrend uh, you know you can see just just go if we just if we just if we just go back through history you can see that doge has you know, it has a very much, you know, huge, huge upside, huge upside impulses, goes all the way up, then it has a, a major correction, then it goes legs up again, then this is, goes down again, legs up, goes down, legs up, goes down, legs up, goes down. So, you know, I'm pretty bullish. If you look at this, if you look from this time frame here, I believe that we're definitely going to be getting back up to 30 cents. We're going to be definitely getting close to the 45 cent area really soon. So guys, I wouldn't panic too much. I think you guys just need to be be, be patient, huddle, don't worry, don't freak out as you guys often do. The newbies, you don't freak out. Because you know, if you have to wait for life changing wealth and wait till December, why not? You know, what's the hurry? All right, guys. So once again, guys, don't forget to uh, smash the likes, subscribe, and call to action. Share this video with your friends right now. And uh, remember, now this is financial advice. And guys, uh, go to Zen Music right now. Go to Zen Music Attic right now and uh, subscribe. Because Zen Music, what they've got, they've got a huge, huge amount of uh, videos. And it's really relaxing stuff, you know. Like, you guys just have to get it. Check, check this out, guys. It's super relaxing stuff. Uh, you guys want it. You know. Why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to go to Zen Music? So go to Zen Music, subscribe right now, and you're gonna love it. All right, guys. So do that right now, and uh, follow all of my uh, follow all of my Linky Winks, and uh, guys support the channel. Do it right now, and uh, you know go to Patreon, go to Coffee, buy the channel Coffee. Remember, all the proceeds go to charity. And remember, go to my Merchy Merch. We got lots of merch, guys. Check out my merch. You know we got T-shirts, we got ba bags cups get the muggy the mug i love the muggy the mug so guys god bless each and every one of you i love you guys i just want to say thank you for being part of this uh, experience thank you for being part of this journey please uh, 
you know, please uh, make a comment. Uh, remember, I'm working for you, so send me a comment how you think we can improve this channel. I love to get your feedback, and God bless all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Woohoo! And don't forget to smash the like and subscribe as always. Woohoo!